Hi, I'm going to be cooking beef today. What is it exactly we're making? Um, so we're going to make like Mexican rice and beef fajita strips. Mexican rice and beef fajita strips. Not Mexican rice, Mexican rice. Rice, Mexican rice. There you go. That's it. Throw the whole thing out. <laughs> Show the cats. We're ordering, we're ordering takeout. That's what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Paneer! I'm here, Sam. Hello, Sam. Oh, hi, Sam. Hi, Chubby McSeuse. Hi, Sam. You know Sam. You like Sam. You love Sam. You all love Sam. Did you say Chubby McSeuse? Ooh, big boy. <laughs> He's a big boy. And fine, I'll show this one too. <laughs> I know, so I know you people oh, like her for some reason. I don't get it. I don't understand the appeal. That's rude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna. Do you know about cutting against the grain? Beef. Cutting against the grain. Is the grain going downwards today? I don't know. Yeah. So you see how like the it. lines are going down. So whenever you're cutting the strips, you cut them this way, okay? Okay. Okay. So. I'm gonna get you a decent knife. That's the only decent knife I have. Here I am looking big and fat. Me too. Okay. Um, okay. I think your camera might need a bit of cleaning. There we go. Yes, it did. Look at that. Okay. Oh. So. Well, there you go, people. Sorry about that, people. So I'm gonna leave you to this. Um,. Do not cut yourself, because your medical card's expired, so. Oh, right, we need to go get the, go get it removed. So each strip, you must cut like this, like. Oh, hold on a second. I'll show you how I want it done. Whoa, big mitts there in a the way. <laughs> Very thin strips like this against the grain like that you see what I mean yep and it's cutting do you know why we cut against the grain uh easier it makes the meat more tender ah. yeah so if you could just cut like that the rest of the meat into strips over here okay I'll just need to find somewhere to put my phone yeah, against here maybe oh here hold this for a minute look this. I lean it against here. So I was leaning it against before, I think. Yeah. Are you gonna go over there and cut it? Oh, right, right, right. So that I have a stool. I'm gonna move my wig. Sorry. He has a weird roommate. He does. <laughs> he also occasionally talks about himself in the third person. <laughs> Just once in a while. I found a mock Just to keep so things interesting. Which is good news because I was saving the old one. <laughs> I don't have a new mop head. God. Okay. I don't even know. I don't even know where to find the grain. So whatever. You don't know where to find the grain? I think I'm cutting against it. Yeah. yeah the grain just means lines in the meat. You know how muscle tissue has lines in it? Yeah. Let me see if you're doing it right. Nope. Like this? Yes. You see how the lines are going straight down? You want to cut them that way. You know what I mean? Oh. All right. So yeah. See these lines here? They're going this way. Is that horizontal? Yeah. yeah. You want so you were gonna cut it vertical against the grain. Yes. That's it. Good job. All right. So. Now, somebody in my audience is going to give us a quick and easy. We have Latina Linda. Now, I did see the recipe from Laura's Kitchen on the Mexican rice, but... This is the best nice knife we have? <laughs> yeah. Here, try this one. Give me that one. Well, it's possible that they might... Bounce. Well, you have to, you're going to have to saw no matter what. This one better, see? Yeah. <laughs> Much better. 
which is unfortunate because it's still. You gotta practice. You gotta practice cutting. Apparently. Yep. You don't have the hand for it yet. Yep, I'm bad at cutting. <laughs> I'm not even good at cutting, people. You can be. No one's good at anything the first time they do it. Right? Probably. I was cutting tomatoes in my grandma's kitchen and doing recipes since I'm freaking five or six. And I was watching the Food Network since I'm like in my diaper. So, I mean, seriously, I would watch, um, I actually watched Walk with Yan. Did you watch Bobby Flay? Bobby Flay wasn't, didn't have a show when I was a kid. Walk with Yan, then there's this nice British guy my mom would put on, he had a very calming voice. Maybe that's why, like, David Attenborough, she used to put on, like, people that had calming voices for me, like, uh, Robert Stack. You know narrators that just have really calming voices? Yep. <clears throat> Alright, this one's cutting it a little bit, uh, <laughs> a little bit easier. Maybe I'm just at a better angle. It could be that the uh, one piece of pie just has more connective tissue. Uh, could be anything. Isn't the word connective tissue just disgusting? No. Nah. Really? I don't think so. Oh. Well, I don't like the term connective tissue. And this, I'm going to start using tonight. I have a clean bottle of uh, distilled water for my CPAP machine. Oh, sorry, I forgot you're filming. Huh? <laughs> I forgot you're filming. Yeah. It's fine. They don't mind hearing about your CPAP machine, I'm sure. Oh, okay. Ooh. A little bit of uh, frost on this one. And this one. It'll make it easier to cut. That's a tip, actually. If you have trouble cutting meat, the frugal... Hi, Joe Beef! I'm cutting you right now. Bouillon, tomato paste, cumin, chili powder, cayenne water. All right. Flop, I might not have all those ingredients. Let's see what we have. <coughs> Did you say you're cutting water? I'm cutting Joe beef. <laughs> I'm cutting beef. You're cutting beef? Uh-huh. Oh my god! We have a package of Mexican rice. <laughs> <laughs> but no! You see all the ingredients in this Mexican rice? Oh my god, that many. But what is... Just sodium guanylate and just sodium ionosinate and potassium chloride and cornstarch, salt, and sugar. Our recipe will not have sugar, any of the dionates and the sodiums, so we're good. Avocado spice. Yeah. There is a there is a hair in the beef. Mexican rice is expired anyway. Yeah. I mean, we don't, I don't eat most of the shit that's up on the shelf, so. But I, the spices are up here too. What kind of rice is this? Cheddar and broccoli, oh my god. It's definitely expired. 2021. <sighs> Just a little bit expired. And you like saying it? Yeah, I like saying ye. And now I'm washing my hands. Do you want a piece of cheese? Sure. We're gonna get, I'm gonna get some more groceries tomorrow, so we're just using whatever we got here. More groceries, you said? Yeah, we gotta get more, a few more groceries tomorrow. True, I'm uh, just about out of snacks. I tried ordering, last time I ordered groceries, I fell asleep and the guy, I missed the substitute, so he um, just substituted macaroni for rotini, which is fine, I mean, 
he did his best. And then um, the salt and vinegar ruffles, usually I have to pick, I want the no name salt and vinegar. Instead, he went with a different kind of ruffles. So that's why this, they all dressed, you know? Jeez. Okay, I'm gonna marinate. So put the beef on this plate, please. Big old plate of beef. What was I looking for? Big old plate of beef right there. That looks appetizing. Okay. I probably didn't really need to show me cutting all the slices. <laughs> In theory, I could probably uh, edit that st some of that out, but I'm not gonna. I don't have chicken stock. I have beef. Can I use that for the rice? Yes. I mean, we're having beef, but it's usually chicken, so let's see what's in here. We need cumin. We have taco seasoning. You love beef, eh? Yep. So a little bit of olive oil, about a teaspoon, or a tablespoon, I should say. Some white vinegar. Do you know what the white vinegar does to the meat? Uh, tenderizes it, I think. Yes, yeah. it does. Even though it's gonna be tender because it's, you know. And then we're gonna add some Taco Tuesday, which is onions, garlic, sea salts, all of these other nice things here. And we're just gonna put that like that. There's appetizing. <laughs> Someone's just suggested we get pork tomorrow. Apparently it costs less per pound than chicken at the moment. <laughs> um, I don't know if I wanna eat pork like regularly, but I have pork chops in the freezer actually. Oh, oh. that's true. I want to make smothered pork chops. Sounds good to me. <laughs> I've never had them with rice. I was watching some recipes and uh... Beef. <laughs> Beef. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to chop some garlic. Do I see a cat? Okay. not going to put raw garlic in my mouth. <laughs> I raw, like pickled. Raw onion? Sure. Raw garlic? No. Raw garlic is strong, but it's so good for you. If you're sick, a teaspoon of raw garlic, honey, and you're good to go. I don't like this part. I could probably blend the tomato, onion, and garlic together, but whatever. I'm not a fan of garlic myself. I don't like a lot of garlic in uh, anything I eat. I don't like a strong garlic flavor. Then natural garlic is better actually because the garlic powder I find tastes different and adds a weird flavor. You know what I mean? The natural garlic is gonna cook down so much it's just gonna add like an aromatic uh, background. Yeah. So I'm gonna cook it I know you don't like, I know your eating habits by now. I know how you feel about garlic. <laughs> I'm just making it clear to my audience who could probably, who could probably already guess, but. Yeah. I gotta saw this onion. Oh, God. Just gonna add a little bit of red onion for some extra 
flavor. Like red onion has a different flavor profile than white onions. Mm -hmm. I said flavor profile. You're just like on yeah. cooking show. I got some onion there. You're just like you're on freaking Food Network. I know. We're going to add some white onion. Sorry, yellow. Not white. Yellow onion. Yellow, white, what's the difference? White is a lot more mild and a bit sweeter when you cook it than yellow. That's the difference, my friend. Okay, time for me to have a bite of raw onion. Yes. <laughs> if you would like. Sorry, I'm not looking at the chicken. Bit of red onion, too. Ah. <laughs> Tiny bit. <laughs> Does it have a good flavor? <laughs> it's not? The red? Onion. Just raw onion. I know. I don't it's know not pleasant. You, I don't know why you do that to yourself. Neither do I. I don't it's know why it. I do it. I got water over there. I don't know why I do it, but I always do it. I'm weird. Remember these guys? I'm gonna have to show the dirty floor. I gotta clean it. Yeah. Turn the heat on to medium. So, five. Five. Or actually make it four and a half. So, yeah. And then, uh, four and a half. One, two, three, four, four and a half. Oh, by the way. Doing a Sesame Street thing. Oh. Oh, yeah, Sesame Street. Won't you tell me how to get, how to get to Sesame Street? I'm not going to ask how many of you love, uh, grew up on Sesame Street because I know the answer is going to be pretty much all of you. Everyone grew up on Sesame Street. Everyone? Just about. I mean, Sesame Street's even big in other countries. Are you gonna have some like salad? most? Uh, only if we have some more of the uh, vinaigrette left. Yeah, we do, and it's gonna be eaten soon. So we have this much left. Is that enough? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, uh, a lot of other countries have their own versions of Sesame Street. Yeah. So like. I'm pretty sure India has its own version of Sesame Street, and... Okay, let's talk more cook. I'm just joking! Okay, here, put this chunk. And ghee, put... Let's say this much here. Put that. Let in. When it's melted, we're gonna toast the rice. With everything. So... The actual cooking stuff, you can go one piece of Later today. Oh, okay. Later today. Oh, we want to do a cooking every Tuesday. Yeah, I want to have a video up every Tuesday for cooking. For his channel, yes. Just the one chunk of, uh, of ghee? Yes. I know you don't need to see this, but but it's satisfying, isn't it? Just watching the ghee melt and coat the bottom of the pot, it's it's satisfying. Okay, it's all melted. Rice. Oh, two cups of rice, okay. Mixed basmati and long grain is what we have in the house. Oh. Yeah, two, ba uh, two bags, uh, two cups of rice. Basmati and long grain, because that's what we had. Just dump it all 
I know, it's just... <laughs> oh, for cinematic? Yeah. <laughs> it's just more satisfying doing it this way. <laughs> Alright, whatever you say. Right? Yes. Right? More satisfying, right, people? Yeah. Agree with me, viewers. <laughs> I demand your... I demand your agreement on all matter, on all things. I'm also going to add a little bit of olive oil. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. I like the flavor profile of both. I'm just going to say flavor profile. Okay. And now, yeah, we're going to add this to the onions okay. and the garlic. And we're going to toast that around. Get that going. And in the meantime, I'm going to cut up. I assume it doesn't need constant stirring. And yeah, that constant well, stirring would probably be bad for it. Yeah, just, uh, you know. I just wanted to get the olive oil uh, sort of coating everything. Yeah. Ooh, can oil. opener. <laughs> it's a good one, too. I'm glad I splurged and paid like 30 bucks for it. <laughs> I think it was like, I don't know. My other can openers kept breaking. Plus, it's just cool. Yeah. So, ideally, use tomato paste. But I, all I have is crushed tomatoes. So, and instead of... That just looks unappetizing. And <laughs> tomato, yeah. It's just cooked down tomato. All right, stir the... Make sure you're stirring the thing. Oh, I'm still supposed to stir it? Yeah, like, make sure you're stirring it into it. Green pepper. Yes. Not popping any of that into my mouth raw. <laughs> no? Well, that's bad. No! <laughs> that, bit's, that bit of green pepper's gone forever. Yeah, our, um, our friggin' thing is very... Yeah, our floor is pretty dirty. We need to clean it. <laughs> but I did... It needs to be cleaned, like, every day if you're cooking. <sighs> So one red green pepper, I'm gonna put that in with the beef. And then we're gonna chop up some for the, the rice, small pieces, for flavor, okay? For flavor profile? For the flavor profile, yes. We're just gonna add a little bit of chopped green pepper to that rice. Praise me, people! <laughs> Alright, now we're going to add in the green pepper. Okay. Alright. Yeah, that's looking real nice. Looking nice? Yeah. Yeah, make sure you really, like, here, I'll show you really get the bottoms and you know what I mean ah, okay don't be afraid to get in don't be afraid of the you're the chef here you need to it smells good though I eh? see with the garlic aromatics and the onion it's smelling nice eh you fine yep there you go Pete's now Pete's like I said first time you do something you're not gonna be good at it so you looking is really good um, practice. practice for cooking A little bit of tomato now. It's gonna be good. You get that. Uh... I'm gonna clean my board as I go along here. I'm gonna eat with you guys. That's why. <laughs> So on a completely different note, last night I started watching a uh, Let's Play of Final Fantasy X. A little bit of 
Yeah. What do you people think of the Final Fantasy games? Any of you fans of Final Fantasy? Any of you fans of Final Fantasy X? <laughs> I've never played the game, but I am aware of the big uh, twist with it. Final Fantasy? Final Fantasy X specifically, for the twist with it. Oh. Plot twist. I'm gonna cook for another two minutes or so. Which I won't, I won't mention the plot twist here, obviously, for people who haven't played it and who might want to play it. But. Where's the sink for the right side? The, oh, here it is. Watching it, all I can think. Watching it, I just think of a uh, webcomic I read a few years back. Uh, you and me dream. Or you plus me dream. Which is a really good webcomic, by the way. Anywho. We're going to add. Oops. Now we're adding oregano. Black pepper? Oh, organic. Organic, that's what I saw. Black pepper? Black pepper. Stir that around a little bit. Every time something gets added, I need to stir it in. Mm. Also kind of hard stirring properly with just one hand. We're going to add some cumin. About a quarter teaspoon. Cumin is very strong. But it's a must for the flavor. Cumin is the flavor. The flavor profile? The flavor profile, yeah. I look like a seal! Look! In my camera! <laughs> People are genuinely, okay, that, that's good. Let me see, oh no, oh no, oh no, the rice, mmm, that smells so good. Hey? Mm-hmm. Why were you, oh, knowing. No. We're gonna add a little bit of tomato. Let's see if that's enough. Here, I'll do it, cause yep. I, I, we, we know you know how to stir. <laughs> Okay. That's the only thing I do know how to do. <laughs> We're gonna add a little more tomato, not much. That just looks gross. I know. <laughs> Especially the angle I was capturing it at. <laughs> just made it even worse. All right. We're gonna let that cook a bit. And then, we're going to add the chicken stock. We just need one cube of that. I'll put one in. I like chicken flavor. It's so good. About four cups of water, because we have two cups of rice, but... I'm, I always like to add less water, and then I could just add more if I need to. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, how I like to cook rice is different from how people like to cook rice. I'm more comfortable with cooking rice now, so I'll teach you. But the ratio is generally one cup of rice to one, uh, two cups of water, I think. Okay. I don't know. Is that right, guys? <laughs> I'm gonna let that chicken stock. Let it melt down or let it reduce. Yeah. Gonna let it reduce. <laughs> I know cooking terms too. We're gonna let it come to a boil, actually. Oh yeah, so that the so that it can reduce. That's what we're doing, right? Yeah, but I'm gonna need more water, I know it. I think I'm gonna add that much water for now and see what happens. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. 
Okay, we're gonna let that cook. Should we put the lid on or? Not yet. Okay. I need plastic. Yep. Ideally, if you have plastic and foil, this would be good, but I've seen Bibi's sister cover the rice she's making. It steams it better. If it does, then we just have plastic in our uh, rice. That's fine. It's probably already got tons of microplastics. I think it'll be fine. Everything we eat has microplastics these days, I'm sure. Probably. Did you get the beige legs? Look, we don't need pork tomorrow. Pound per pound, these are cheaper. Beige legs? Cute, Andy. Sam, why do you look like a seal? Need some sort of uh, sexy music playing as bow, I bow, 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 bow. Up, as I pan up. <laughs> look, oh yeah. Get a little bit of uh, <laughs> Barry White playing. <laughs> I've been feeling fun, baby. <laughs> <laughs> look at his little arms. Mm-hmm. Yes. What are these? What is this? <laughs> what is this? Oh my god. Look at this. Look, Look at, at this, this cute boy. Look at this. And he likes his belly rubbed. <laughs> Beige legs two for five. <laughs> L customer limit. Two per order. Oh yes. Aw, chubby McSeuss. See, one of these days, one of these days, I'm just going to do a whole half hour video of Sam. Yeah. And it's going to be my uh, highest viewed uh, video ever. Hi, Tiffany. Going to get a million views. Jim is long boy. Yeah, just 30 minutes of this and I'll get a million views. Yeah, Easy. so cute. Um, he's five, Sam, right? Something like that. I'm going to say he's five. I don't really know. <laughs> it's his birthday. He's still a baby. He's still a little baby. He's a little baby! He's a little baby boy. No, he's little not. baby boy. He's not a baby boy. He's a baby boy. He's a teenager. No, he's a, he's, he's a big baby boy. He's a teenager. <laughs> what are we so st- Teeths. Fatty, fatty, two by four, can't fit through the villa door. Teeth. <laughs> Teeth. It's Sam. Hi, Sam. We're gonna cook the beef! Now all I got is this non-stick here. I'm gonna get some olive oil. And we're gonna put that on like six. You want it on medium high because you don't want it to be you don't want the vegetables to release a lot of liquid and everything, so we're going to actually sear it, I think. And we're going to cook it on higher heat. We're going to cook beef! <laughs> hey, Sam. Hi, big boy! Hi, big boy! Here's the plate of vegetables. Not yet, we're going to let oh. it heat up. Just showing the stuff. Oh. That's the fajita mix here. Nothing Ooh. that you don't like, right? Nope. Basic peppers. Do you have anything with the do you have anything that doesn't have meat? Possibly the meat both. <laughs> Be goodness. Oh my god. I'm overcrowding the pan, so this is not a good idea. But I don't have a choice here. So you're gonna be responsible for cooking this. So we're gonna let, let it cook on the bottoms for a little for a bit and then stir it around, okay? Yep. Okay. Beef! Okay. Listen to that sizzle. Okay. 
Smoke rising up, the steam rising up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yummy beef, eh? Yummy beef. Alright. What's the rice doing? I don't know. Steaming up that. nicely. Please hurry, the, the lid is hot. Okay, go ahead. You want to put that on here, move over for a second? Uh, or, yeah, I don't want you to burn yourself. Oh, yeah, you were going to do this, eh? Yep. Yeah, but you're holding the camera. So you can actually pause it and then just. I mean, you'd be able to hold the camera oh, yeah, for me. I can hold the camera while you're cooking. Am I flipping anything yet, or...? Yeah, just let it cook on the bottoms here. Should be... Oh, there's... Yeah, just let it cook. Turn the heat up. Yep. Let's try that. A little bit <laughs> so they can actually get shit cooking. Yeah. No more wonderful sizzle sound. <laughs> now everything is releasing their fluids. I probably, yeah. Oh well, we're gonna let it cook down and we'll be back, right? Yep. Adding some salt. And a bit more flavor to the flavor profile. Just seasoning salt, basically taco flavor. Yep. You know what I mean? I threw an onion overboard. Poor little onion piece. <laughs> Somebody put some sad music over this. <laughs> this lonely little piece of onion. See all that? Look at that big, beautiful pan full of beef and yeah. onion and pepper and saddle onion piece <laughs> all alone <laughs> he lost his family he's he's separated from his family oh, look, he's... oh okay good we needed those <laughs> he's sad from his family he's away from his family he was thrown out of he was thrown out of his house He wanted to be a dancer and his family didn't support him and they threw cast him out. Why are you doing that scenario <laughs> for the onion that fell off the pan? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see what this looks like. That'll add some extra beefy flavor. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yep. And it's gonna be cooking down, it'll be ready soon. Yay! <laughs> Now, most people don't cook fajitas this way. This is like, whatever. <laughs> There's the rice, nice and ready for eating. Yeah. Rice, fancy. Ooh, it looks good. It looks good, beef! We're just gonna turn the heat up on that to sear it a bit and get it nice and brown. Yep. So here's the rice side. Sweet tea, welcome to Grandpa Beaver British. Load the dishwasher. Is ready. <laughs> Pretty much. I gotta say. We're almost ready to eat. Aw yeah. Gonna be eating soon. <laughs> How does it look? Like beef. I mean the supper looks good. Yep. Alright. Oh. And now the plating. And taste testing. Yes. <laughs> That's important too. Yep. We're going to fluff the rice a bit. Okay. Yeah. It's really good. It doesn't need salt. I salted it perfectly. Yep. 
So make sure you eat a big I wasn't one. going to add salt. Okay. Okay. Want more? Nah, that's good. That's uh, a lot. If you can't eat it, that's okay. But I know you want lots of beef. Oh, yeah. Beef. <laughs> Wow. And I'll get your fork. Yep. And your thumb. Here, I'll hold it for you. Yep. <clears throat> Thumbnail pose. All right, gotta do the pose. Wait. Wait. There you go. <laughs> All right, taste test. Yep. Moment of truth. Try the right. Oh. <laughs> Someone messaged you. Just take a bite of it. Don't bother trying to cut it because it probably won't cut. That's why it strips. <laughs> Sam. It's hot, eh? Yep. <laughs> Very hot. Careful. Go. <laughs> Is it chewy? Very chewy. Really? Mm hmm Do you think I should cook the meat more? Nah. But it's good? Yeah. So it's just yeah. chewy, but it tastes good. Yeah. Maybe just take smaller bites of the beef then. That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> no, like just bite it in half and... You know what I mean? Do you want me to cut yeah, it? Was... Nah. Okay. <laughs> you want me to cut your meat? <laughs> All right. So that was uh, good then, I guess. Yeah. If you guys have any suggestions on how to make the meat more tender, I guess, when making fajitas. And that's it. See ya. Bye.